Hey guys, this is Jerry here. So I got an update video on everyone's favorite person, our naive but good intention Chinese farm boy, Choi Fong Ming. My relationship to his story has been that of disappointment too, because YouTube, first of all, let the Chinese government take down my video. I appealed fair use, the video came back, and the Chinese government, CCTV, their officially run state network, was still taking my money. So December 2018, after months of this and me not being able to appeal this, I reached out to YouTube and I said, can you help me with this? I'm like, yeah, sure. And they never helped me. I reached out to them again two years later and they finally resolved it. So Juno, thank you. And thank you, Rhea. Thank you. I probably lost at least a thousand to two thousand dollars and it just doesn't make sense to try to take YouTube to small claims court over this. Oh, it's so sad. It's like, if the money were more, I should like get a lawyer and do something. But it's like just the amount of money which is not worth it. In small claims court, what are you gonna do, huh? Uh, I mean, it's technically not YouTube's fault, even though it is YouTube's fault because there's a bug in their system, they didn't help me fix it. The point is we care about country boy that was taken advantage by the Belarusian girl. By going through this process, finally having my video monetized, I checked up on the country boy to see if there's any updates and there is an update and it's really sad his father passed away too his father passed away and so i found a video of him and one of his older sisters who also does the kind of chinese singing they sang a song for their father and man he's so sad he's like crying and everything it is so sad <laughs> if you remember from the follow-up, initial follow-up, his father didn't really like the Belarusian girl, but his father was like, well, you like her, so I'm not going to say too much stuff. I am sure, being the only son, when his father died, he was like, oh, my son's still not married. Oh, he's probably sad about that. So it's not only sad to think about the fact that our country boy lost his father, but also that his father died with some regret too, just like his mother died with regret. Man. In a way, it's almost good that this happened, that his parents are not there because he's living in the city, he's a performer, he's able to see and come into contact with different people and ideas. So maybe he won't become a victim of these traditional Chinese values that don't help him move forward anymore. So it's really weird that I'm saying this, but it's sad that he lost his family. He still has five older sisters, but he doesn't have his father. His father was a great father. You know how we were talking about how naive he was? We found that out in the first follow-up video, right? His mom died thinking that he'd marry the Belarusian girl. It turns out his mom died before he even turned 20. So our guy, our Cui Feng Ming, our farm boy, went on the Chinese dating show in his late teens, probably when he was 16, 17, or 18. And so the whole uh, story with Helena, the Belarusian girl jerking him around, it happened before he even turned 20. In my analysis, in the first follow-up video, he seemed just to be naive and, you know, he blah, blah, blah. But ultimately, it was a lot due to age. I think I didn't give enough credit to that, mainly because Asian No Raisin, 
I didn't know how old he was. I didn't realize that he actually was not even yet 20. That is kind of mind-blowing, but it, it makes sense. Like, not only is he thinking from a country boy perspective, a person who's just kind of more pure, but he's also very young, so there's that added naivete. It could also be, and this is being very cynical, but you never can put it past them. They could have also retrofitted the story, so let's forget the Belarusian thing, that saga even happened. And then let's change up the age of him. So on the dating show, when it said he was 24, it's actually true he was 24. And then let's just change up that part of history and so make it so the Belarusian thing never happened. Because on this follow-up show, this show that we're looking at now, they never mentioned the Helena saga. So maybe they just kind of took it all out and then just like excised a few years out of his life. That could be, right? So it could have been he was 24 and then when he was dating the girl, he was in his mid-20s. And so when he's on this show, he's in his late 20s. So he's like my age, basically. And they just glance past the Helena stuff. I don't know. You never can put it past the Chinese media in general. Governments like this to do stuff like that. That's where it's at. I'm glad our country boy's kind of gone for it. He's working on his craft. He's not letting any kind of relationship, these kind of traditional values, make him not become the great singer that he was destined to become. Let's end off. Let's show a little bit more of his performance. If you guys want even more follow-up to this, do you want us to find the Belarusian girl, see where she's at? Because I'm sure, going back to Belarus, she's not had this amount of success that our Chinese country boy has. Let me know what you think. This was Jerry. A little sad, but I'm also happy that our man decided to go and follow his artistic passions. Okay, guys. Talk to you soon. More videos to come.